video, I'm going to be training my grip strength and forearm every single day for 30 days. Right now, these are what my forearms look like. They're not small, they're not big. I want them to be massive, huge, jacked with veins all over them. So I went on Amazon and I grabbed a kit that's going to help me with my forearms. Damn. Damn. Okay, so it comes with a few things. It comes with one of these, which I'm assuming is you grip it like that. Okay, y'all see that? Okay, we're off to a good start. Damn. It comes with one of these where you... Oh, y'all see that? Oh my god. It comes with one of these. And lastly, it comes with one of these, which is like a very famous grip thing. In order for me to see actual results, I'm going to be doing this literally every single chance I can. When I'm watching TV, when I'm brushing my teeth, when I'm eating, when I'm streaming, I'm going to be doing this. All it takes is 30 days and I'm going to see the results at the end of the 30 days. To see the best results possible, I'm also going to be going to the gym every day, which I usually do. <sighs> so this is day one. Today is officially day two and I woke up and my hands were really sore. Not my forearms though, my hands were really sore from like doing that so many times. Now, I'm like, it's so much harder to do at such a lighter weight, but I don't know if I'm feeling it in my forearms. I'm literally just feeling it in my hands, which I guess is specifically for grip strength, but like, I expected this challenge to work on my forearms, which I guess it is in a way, but I don't think it's as efficient as if you were to grab dumbbells and like do this, or if you were to, you know, do that with some barbells, but I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like this is why it's like kind of seen as like a scam on like Timu or TikTok shop. They're like, oh, this is me one day of doing this and then 30 days of doing this and then they show like the before and after and the after is like some buff ass dude with hella veins and stuff. I mean, this is only day two, so I'm not expecting too many results, but I mean, we're just gonna keep doing this and then we'll see how it is. More veins, a little bit. You know, but nothing too much. All right, I'll see you guys day three. Today is day three, and I've been training it a lot, and I was just doing a bunch of these. You could kind of see, like, a kind of a big difference with, like, my forearms. I don't know. It's it's a little wider, and you can see a little bit more veins. It's not anything too significant, but we're just going to keep doing this. Yeah, I'll see you guys day four. <sighs> it's 80. I'm trying to do 100 every day. <sighs> 90. <sighs> All right, that's 100. Next. Holy shit. I'm seeing a little difference. Wow, it actually is a little thicker. See you guys day five. Today is day five of me doing the grip training. And uh, honestly, my arms are tired and my fingers are tired. Okay, that's all. See ya. Just to show comparison, I did 100 on here and it didn't do 100 on here. Yeah, look at the difference. God damn, y'all see the pump difference. And don't comment some shit like, oh, Hayden, of course your right arm is bigger because all the time you spent beating your meat. 100. See, now it's even. Y'all see that? Today is day seven of me doing the grip strength thing and honestly, my forearms are hurting. More than my forearms, my fingers are hurting more than my forearms are, which who would have thought? I mean, I guess it's grip, but like, dude, I feel like my fingers could like lift anything right now. I don't even know if it looks bigger though. That's the thing. Hopefully it does by the end of the 30 days, but anyways, yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Today is day eight of doing the grip strength for 30 days. During this road trip, I've literally been doing this. I can't even tell you guys how many times, but my forearms are dying. I don't know if you guys can tell. Oh, yeah. I'm back from the band. I know it's like, Hayden, you only went for a date. Yeah, I felt sick, so I just had to drop back. I feel sick. And doing this while you're sick, <laughs> I feel so weak. But I'm still gonna try to get through it. Um, yeah, that's that's all. I'm tired. I'm sick. And I just drove back. I heard bye. Day 10, doing this while you're sick kind of fucking sucks because, like, you don't feel like doing anything, but... See ya. I'm starting to think that this shit's a scam, bro. Like, this shit's not like, my fingers are killing me. I don't know what it is. It feels like going to the gym and doing forearm exercises are doing more for my forearms than this shit. I mean, this is supposed to be like the easy way out. And honestly, it's not. It's actually harder with less results. I'm pretty disappointed of because, you know, all these ads show, oh, if you do these for seven days, your arms will be fucking crazy. But nah, I think it's all bullshit. But we'll find out. Today's day 12 and and uh, as you guys can see, I look great. I look in shape. My forearms are very vascular. I think it has nothing to do with this motherfucker, but I think it has everything to do with the fact that I've been working out. I will say that my veins are a lot more visible because of this. My veins are Wow, it actually might be working. Actually, I don't know. I'm a bit upset right now, not because of the reason you think. I'm a little bit upset because of the fact that I am almost like 80% sure that this shit will not make my forearms bigger because my fingers just keep hurting when I do it. And I think, yes, maybe, just maybe I could like squeeze harder with my fingers, but I don't think that this will make my forearms bigger. I do believe that maybe this will temporarily activate veins in your arms so they appear to be bigger, but I don't think that overall these will make my forearms bigger. I mean, yes, 
Look at the before, look at the after. It does appear bigger, but that I don't think it's because of this. I think it's because I'm eating more and I'm working out at the gym. And obviously when I'm working at the gym, I train my forearms too. And that will probably do more for my forearms than to do this shit for, I don't even know how many reps. I probably do way over a hundred a day. I don't know. I mean, dude, it, I'm still kind of spectacle. The whole point of this challenge, by the way, is so my forearms can get bigger. So they look cooler because I think forearms are one of the most attractive muscles a guy can have. So yeah, that's exactly why I'm doing it. Is that a bad reason? I don't think so. Day 13 and I'm trying to switch it up by using this thing. Maybe if this thing wasn't working, then, you know, I, by not working, I don't mean like it, it works right it, it makes your forearms feel tight you, you'll feel it going from loose to tight after doing it for a while which does in theory train your muscle i think since there's no actual weight to it it doesn't build it up as much it's it's similar to doing like a hundred push-ups every day right you're gonna do a hundred push-ups and yes you'll feel sore but will it get bigger not as much as if you were to do chest presses with dumbbells or a barbell because of the fact that you're putting weight on it which will break down your muscle fibers more and then when you eat a lot of protein it builds it up when you work out and you break down a muscle fiber it's called hypertrophy let's say i'm doing bicep curls right and the feeling that you get when it's sore and it's tired that's hypertrophy and that's when your muscle fibers are tearing and while they're tearing they're loose while they're loose that's why you feel sore and you're like oh my gosh i feel sore i can't even bend it that's good and then you eat protein or you take something like creatine to repair your muscles to make it appear bigger which is why you see a lot of bodybuilders eating a lot of food to to, you know make the muscles bigger so I think I already figured it out I don't think there's going to be a lot of difference with my forearm with this grip yes here's the before and after but I genuinely believe that is simply just because at the gym I do train forearms I do train bicep I do train anything that will make my forearms bigger I have been eating more and I don't think it's because of this I don't think it's because of this either I genuinely believe that my arms look bigger simply because of the fact that I just work out more and I eat more so all these things that they throw you in front of the screen all these Oh, buy this. This is the before and after on my forearm. This is what will you all you have to do is all you have to do is do this for seven days and then boom, look at the before and after. I'm not saying that this is a scam. I'm saying this, yes, in theory, this will help your grip strength. Yes. Now I knew this from the start. I wasn't done going into this and I knew doing this every single day will not make a drastic change because I've been to the gym. I've I've done workouts at the gym all the time. I've I've gone to the gym. I know what it's like to build muscle. I just want to see if it would work, but I'm 99% sure this. This is like the lazy option. If you want results quick, don't just do this. Oh, because the ad said this will make my forearms bigger. Wrong. In theory, yes, maybe over like 100 days. But if you really want quick results, just go to the gym and stay consistent. Make sure you work out and push yourself because if you push yourself, it's going to get you a lot further. The moment that you're tired during a workout is where you were last time. If you stop when you're tired, you're stopping at the same place that you stopped last time. Take that extra rep after you're tired. That's one step closer to being as far as you want to be. Anyways, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, like the video. If you're new, subscribe. Check out my other videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.